just rhyme to remind myself how I tried so hard In spite of the way you were mocking me Acting like I was part of your property Remembering all the times you fought with me I'm surprised it got so things We are getting ready to go green fight racing Here at Red River Here today With the Cup Series boys And we are and these guys, and it's going to be a crazy race here today. I mean, we got more laps. And it's the same as the, it's the, same as the nationwide race but and the truck race. But the thing about it is, there's a lot more on the line to win this one. Oh, and there's Alex Jones. Alex Jones in the nine. Smithfield is going to cut right up in front of Kyle Sinoski. Oh, oh, the three. Oh, they're four wide. Oh, they're four wide. Three wide coming to the oh Dylan Pote got turned oh Seth Cole's in it and we got a big mess we gotta take a look at that but Alex Jones is in the lead right now James Qualls is on the outside Kyle Sanoski running side by side with his Avery Livingston here comes three wide to the inside going these cars got more horsepower than all of them ryan cooper goes to the inside he's gonna get a run there's the two brant cars and ryan cooper's gonna get the third spot but alex jones the rookie is gonna lead his uh first well not the rookie but he's back in the series fail but he's gonna lead lead some laps in that nine car so i think i've seen his teammate involved in that anthony mccurry but we'll see what happens Wow, well, look at here. This is what happens here. Sean. <laughs> Sean gets a clip of the 20 of D Depot. <laughs> and you're going to go in the wall and watch what happens to Sean. <laughs> he's he's going to hit the wall. Charles Sanford was there. Noah Hart. Oh, the 13. Oh, man. William Duncan. He's not been having any great runs. Then there goes the then there goes Trent. He got involved. I think most of these guys will come out from that, but oh man, Chris Jones top five in the point. Man, they're like cinder block on top of each other. Holy crap, we're gonna take another look at that, back that up again. I think I seen James Silverfox involved in that as well. This is a big ass wreck. Turn turn one's pretty damn narrow, so yeah, when a wreck happens there, it's going to happen big. And it happened. he spun right back up in front of half the field. His teammate, the 54, Sean just took him out. But um, then there you see back there, the 6 get hit. How did the 78 miss that? And back here, there was another wreck back here. Seth hit the wall trying to avoid it. He had nowhere to go. Aaron Williams... Oh, he he spun trying to avoid it. He just he just spun. Yeah, t he was going four wide. He seen it happen and he tried to spin and avoid it. And that's and all he gets into Richard Johnson. Those guys are up there in the top ten in the points. So is the fifty five. Joshua Collar got involved. James Silverfox. There's a. There's a 25 on top of Noah Hart, who's who was the points leader one at one time, but he's not the points leader anymore. I forget who's the points leader, but that is what happened there. But everybody else is good now. So we'll take you to back to the green flag as Sean caused that caution. Well, we'll take a look at pit stops here. There's a few guys are off the racetrack already. So. I'm so trying to move this thing up, but uh, it is not working. So Alex Jones and Ryan Cooper's gonna come out second. So we'll take you to the green flag. Well, we got a lap down car, but I don't think he'll be in the way. Aaron Williams, he he's just not had the last two weeks, man. He's just he's just not been on a roll, and uh, I don't think it's because of anything that he has done. It's just when a wreck happens, he's He's just, he's just right there, and oh shit, he's in the middle, and I hope nothing happens. Oh, 
But Alex Jones still trying to hold off and look at the Brant cars. They're trying to do something. Jacob Lawler and Xavier Livingston, even though they're not teammates, they're, they could run like they are teammates. Well, look at that. We made a lap under green. Holy shit. But anyway, there's the Brant cars, the 31 and the 51. And uh, there's James Qualls. He's going to the inside. James Qualls looking pretty fast right now. It is confirmed that he will drive the 70. Oh, and Eric Burton is sticking it three wide. Here comes a guy that needs needs a hell of a run today, and that is Sky Comet. And he is looking really good. He is. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. What do you do? Oh. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Danny, what, I was just talking about Sky Commons. And this just happened. Wow, and Eric Burton got a piece of that. I don't know, I don't know, but Ryan Cooper has the lead right now. They're coming to lap 10, that's caution is out again. But here comes James Qualls, he's going to try to get to the inside of the 9. He's going to try to take the second spot, but the 31 just got taken out right there. And there's Jacob Lawler. I don't think he got a piece of that. I don't know what was going on over there. I don't think anybody's going to get too much damage out and take them out, but that just messed up Sky Commons right there. I don't know what the three is doing, passing the nine, but let's take a look at what happened. Well, it looks like if you take a look at this, it, uh, it looks like Eric Burton has been doing the whole thing we've seen all weekend. He gets right there. He's trying to, like, won't draft them by the 81. Oh, man. And that 81 car can't catch a break. And you see the 31. He didn't like what the 99 did. And he came right back up and hit him. Then the 5. Who is that? Justin Perry. And then the 11. The 17. Austin Ogle barely missed that. There's Rohit. Great review down there. There's Cody. There's a few more of these guys. Oh, they're bumping. Oh, but Sky, he that has some terrible luck for him. That has a tough break for him. But uh, we'll back that up. We'll back that up really fast one more time. J. Cole and a few other guys got some damage in that. Figured it back out to TV1. Now you can see it right there. He just turned them. The 81 had nowhere to go. He goes, but the 31's like, what the fuck? 99. And then he goes back up. And hits him. There's a five gonna get involved. Danny Wells had nowhere to go. Seventeen did a hell of a job. But everybody did a hell of a job to save that. Except for Sky Commons. He was hitting the wall. But there you go. Well we we might be having a surprise winner maybe in this race. I don't I'm not I'm not too sure. I'm not for sure. For certain. But it's shaping out like that might happen. A guy we haven't talked about all day might get up here at the end and try to do something. But Alex Jones is leading the race right now. Uh, Dylan Pote had a great starting push, uh, spot, but you know what happened with that. He got turned by Sean. <laughs> oh, man. Sean debuting the Nesquik car, but... He's not gonna have any uh he's not gonna have any milk today, so as Ryan Cooper's gonna get out first, but I don't know if anybody's gonna stay out and inherit the lead, so we will take you to the green flag. Well these guys are paying I think they're lapped down. But um don't tell me Ryan Cooper's coming down again. Okay. We'll take you to green flag. Well, we have a whole bunch of lap down cars up here. I'm surprised Danny Wells isn't out of the race. He hit so hard into the back of the 11 car. I'm very surprised about that. And Ryan Acosta is going to try to go three wide in the first corner. Oh, boy, don't do that. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Oh, boy. Oh, and I heard. Oh, oh really? Really? We got to wreck in the front of the pack. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 damn. And we got another one. Whoa, what the, what the hell is the 48 doing? 
Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Am I seeing this right now? Jesus Christ, the 29. Holy fuck. Oh my God. What the fuck just happened there? Well, Jacob Lawler has the lead right now. What in the world was that? Oh my God. I don't know, guys. These guys got really excited here or something. Um, I don't know what was going on. But the three turns to 56. The nine has nowhere to go. He goes down into Jake Cole. Then, then it, it's on from there. Roll hit. Oh, Tim Walsh. Had nowhere to go. The 81, 88, some. Oh, no, he got involved. Yeah, he couldn't dodge it. Eugene the Mac somehow missed it. But we'll back it up for you guys and take another look. And then there was another wreck to happen. But when the 16 dodged that part, he got turned again by Kyle Sinoski. Then there was another wreck. I don't, I don't know what these guys are doing right now. They're driving like retards. Mm. Anyway, there you see this wreck. Rohit had a try. He had nowhere to go. Oh, man. The 81 hit hard into there. And the 88. Eugene the Mac somehow scraped his way through that. But then now that's, that's the two leaders on the restart. They get together. So let's take a look at what happened up here. Well, now Kyle Sinoski wants to play. Play. Let's take cards out. So he takes the 16 out right here. He goes right up there. Oh, man. J. Cole took a hard hit in the wall. Holy. F Back that up one more time. He took a hard hit. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Hard lick into the wall. And then. And then we'll take a look at what happened up even further up. Now, watch this. He goes right here. He goes, he goes up and he tries to wreck Eric Burton and he wrecks himself. He turned like right left. I don't know what the hell he was doing. And then he takes out everybody else up here. A 48 must be drunk, man. Oh, and then Seth hit the hell out of, uh, and then Sky's like sitting up here dodging everything. Seth's like, oh no. Oh, and then look at Dylan Young. Wow, Dylan Young, oh my God. Tell you some, some drivers are lucky and he was a lucky one right there. God damn. We'll back the whole thing up one more time. Watch it now, you see that wreck going on with them. There was three separate wrecks on this whole deal. Now watch Kyle again. Kyle's gonna come back up on the track. He's going to be like, I hate you, 99. He's going to try to wreck him, man. Then he wrecks himself. Like, I don't know what that, what he was doing. He, <laughs> like, he, he just tried to wreck the whole field on that, on that caution right there. And he did a good job at it. So, let's take, uh, let's take it to green. Oh, this field is dwindling down. We do not barely even have anybody left right now. James Qual is the, one of the dominant cars up front all day. He basically got in the back of, back of the 56. I don't know. Oh, man, the 11. Oh, he's going to go. Oh, no. No. Oh, Eric Burton. There you go. Caution's out again. Eric Burton just got turned hard up into the wall on that restart. Those, Sky was really slow. And he was the leader. And he held up everybody. And that's going to bring out the caution again. And look who's up here. Red Bell. And that's uh, shell number 77. The winner of last week's race. Um, She is. She is doing well up here. So. Let's go back and take a look at the. What brought the caution out. Again. As Dylan Young is the leader. Well. He was they were all trying to get by the eleven and the eleven bounced off the wall. I, I swear Eric Brent has been involved in all the wrecks today. 
but he's somehow keeping it going. Cody got a piece of that one as well. The two green cars get together. <laughs> so I'll <laughs> take you to green flag. And Mr. Wonder Boy Dylan Young is going to come down and pitch. Let's see what he is going to do. And he's going to take the tires. And he is going to take a pit stop. So, uh -huh. yes, he is going to take a pit stop. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Bonjour, mi amour. Anyway, <laughs> oh my god, this is what type of race has been. It's been this type of race that I gotta talk French, but anyway, Red Bell is now in the second. Well, actually, it might be these two that's up front now, it might be Cody in the lead now, but uh, I don't know how long he's gonna stay in the lead. This is actually a good run for Cody, he's up there in the top 20 in the points, I believe. He's been having some struggles, so this race will make up for it big time. All right, Cody has stayed out here. He is playing some big strategy because everybody behind him has just pitted. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. He stayed out. He's seen what happened to the 11 car. Here comes the 01 and Tony Blazer to the inside. Here comes Richard Johnson going to take it to the inside. Here comes Joshua Collard down there. Eugene DeMax is up here. There's two. I don't know whatever happened to Michael Norman. I think he. Oh. Oh, and that was almost a crash. Mike, they say Michael's in the race. I don't, I ain't, I ain't know. He's not on the track though. He might have been involved in that, in that one wreck, the first wreck. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see him on the track at all. So, but Dylan Young has a lead right now. So he's basically holding this. The 28 is trying to catch him right now, but I don't think he will. Unless we have a caution, that's not likely right now. But Jacob Lawler, he is trying to make some moves right now. He's passing all these forwards right now. Oh, but Dylan Young is pitting. All these guys are pitting except for Tony Blazer, but we're going to have to see. If Tony Blazer is gonna keep the lead, because he may have it right now, but the thing about it is, no, he might not have it right now, because I think Dylan Young passed the line. Did this is the leader? Holy crap! Austin Ogo is the leader in the 17. We got only about four laps to go. There's Cody. He had the pit. And I know he was going to have to pit. He got freight train on that restart. Yeah. Big time got freight. Oh, I got freight train. So it's not what he was looking for at all on that restart. So. I know it sucked to be him on that restart. But anyway. The 22 running the genuine draft paint scheme. Uh, he's been running. Eugene DeMax has been running pretty good these last few races. He's been getting up in the top 10. He's been running pretty damn consistent. He had, did not have a scratch on that car. So, no, he does not. And Dylan Young does have the lead right now. They're trying to pass Cody. Who's a little bit slower than everybody. He's second right now, but he is a lot slower than these guys on faster tires. There's Jacob Lawler trying to get the se second spot away from uh, Richard Johnson. But he's, he he does not have a scratch on his car either. 
No, he doesn't. He's trying to go back to the inside to get by. Uh, it seems like Jacob Lawler, he comes out here and has good runs as well. He would have had a great run at uh, the road course if he didn't get wrecked. And I think we have a caution. And yes, the caution is out. The caution is out. And Dylan Young is going to come to the white flag. And D. Young is going to get the win. On Oh, for the first time on the tribute on the tribute video he did to his uh, mother's death and the first win of the season for Dylan Young in the Cup Series and he has won in all three series now so he puts his name on that list as well for this season wow he had and guess what guys he doesn't have a scratch on the car. That's one thing to finishing good. And he wins it here. And there's another thing. Richard Johnson, he has a scratch on the car. But he finishes second. That's going to help him big in the points because all the points guys really had bad days. There's Red Bell. It's going to help her in the points. Oh, oh, except for this guy. Where the hell did he come from? Brian Acosta in the Dickies machine. He comes out of nowhere to finish in the fifth position. He did a hell of a job. He was a lap down at one point. Didn't talk about him all day, and he brings that car home. Oh, he gives a little bump to the 77. There's Drew Austin. Don't know where he came from. There's Jake Williams. He's been finishing in the top 10 these last few races. He might make himself up in the chase if he keeps doing that. There's 8th place Samuel Ogo, 9th place Cody, and 10th place is Sky Commons. When early in the race, before that really big wreck happened, he was he was not even a factor. Then he got up into the top 10 one time, then he got taken out, and now he's back up in the top 10 with a beat up race car. Way to go. Let's take a look at what happened. That's Eric Brennan will finish pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at what happened on that last caution fight. Well, Eugene and Max had a top 10 going. Then this happened. He's trying to get by this 13. Oh, man, Cody just came right down on the 13. And I, I don't know if Eugene liked that from the 13 car, and he went up and took him out and, and himself out. So it's not a good deal there. And that's what brought that caution out. And that's going to hurt Eugene at getting another consecutive top 10. So, tough break for him. And we will take you to the, well, the young in the winner's circle here at Red River.